Good morning, good morning, my friends. Welcome to Tuesday morning. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Maybe today in your situation, something you're facing, something that you're going through right now, you don't see the evidence. You've been hoping for some things. You've been praying for some things. Uh, but you don't see the evidence of that even coming to be. Well, I just want you to know that if you'll keep the faith, if you'll keep believing, trusting God, that God is going to birth something brand new. Uh, you may think in your mind there is just no way. I'm, I've been hoping for it and praying for it, but now I've come to the conclusion I guess it's just not going to happen. Well, listen, hold off on believing that. You just hold off on thinking that. Instead, know that God is fixing to birth something brand new. You thought he would just refurbish it. You thought he would just pick up the pieces and put them back together again. And sometimes God does that. Sometimes God refurbishes something. Sometimes God breathes life back into something. Sometimes God puts the pieces back together again. But other times, God makes something brand new out of the situation. And out of what it seems like out of nowhere, this whole new thing comes in uh, on the scene. It comes into your life, and you didn't even plan for that. You was just hoping that the pieces would come back together again. You were hoping for a, a refurbishing or a remodel, and that God would do that. And God had something else, something bigger in mind than just refurbishing that or putting the pieces back together again. He had already plan to birth something brand new and put that into your life. So today, today, just, just relax in God. God loves you. He cares for you and he's got big plans. And so you keep the faith. You keep believing that God can and will, and he may put the pieces back together again. He may remodel. He may refurbish. Uh, but then again, he may bring something brand new that you never dreamed into your life. You see, God is sovereign. God is large. God, with him, there's no impossibility. And so to you and I, we limit God so often. We put him in a box and we're thinking, God, if you could just, if you could give me just, just a little bread and just a little bit of water, if you would just supply that, that one need and God, in his goodness and his mercy, he will take care of our needs. But at the same time, don't settle for just thinking small. Instead, dream big, pray big prayers. You know what? Expect and have hope and have faith that God is going to do something miraculous. And that miraculous thing just may be something that he himself has birthed for you in the situation that you're facing right now. God bless you. Thank you for watching Coffee with the Pastor. And today, walk through the day expecting a miracle. Walk through the day expecting something that God's going to do for you. For God truly is able. He's more than able. God bless you, friend. Thank you. Have a great day. Appreciate you so much.